Real-world tasks often involve high-dimensional observations like images. Obtaining rewards from pixels is difficult and often requires the same hand-designed vision pipelines that end-to-end -end RL aims to supplant. Our goal is to solve real-world robotics tasks from pixel-level observations in an end-to-end -end fashion. Without task-specific systems to compute rewards and with minimal human intervention. Here is an overview of our approach. A user provides a few example images of successful outcomes without demonstrations or any additional guidance about how the task should be done. We learn a reward function on images using a success classifier. We then run RL with this reward while simultaneously performing occasional active queries and using all labels so far to update the classifier. The goal of the pushing task is to push a mug onto a coaster. Here are some successful examples that the user provides for this task. We perform one active query every three minutes for the pushing task. The policy starts succeeding after around 45 minutes and is able to reliably solve the task in slightly over an hour of training time. Here are some example queries made by the algorithm over the learning period and their corresponding human-provided labels. The policy learned through Weissrack is able to push the mug onto the coaster from a variety of different initial positions and obtains a success rate of 100%. We see that the classifier baseline does not make much progress on the task, mainly due to classifier exploitation by the RL algorithm. The Weiss and Rack baselines make some progress but are not able to completely solve the task. Weiss Rack is able to solve the task completely. Next, we will illustrate a task for which it is very difficult to manually design a reward function. Here, the robot must smoothly drape the cloth over an object which requires observing the cloth for wrinkles. We see that Weissrack is able to solve the task with a 100% success rate from a reward learned on pixel space. To show that visual information is indeed necessary to perform this task correctly, we compare to a baseline that uses a hand-specified reward on the gripper position. This policy still uses image observations, but the reward is not based on the image and thus fails to solve the task. Weissrack is able to solve tasks with multiple goal conditions. The goal here is to insert a book into one of the empty slots on a bookshelf. Note that the book is inserted in both the left and the right slots in the outcome examples. We see that the policy learned by Weissrack is able to insert the book in either the right or the left slot depending on the initial position of the book. The policy chooses to insert the book into the closest empty slot.